How's it going everyone? Coach Javi here. Welcome back to the channel. You know, it's been a long time since I've done this. Got my sangria, non-alcoholic Mexican soda. Uh, I did a video of me breaking down your highlight videos, uh, probably about five, six months at this point. So we're going to bring that back. I have a lot of emails. So that's what we're going to do today. Today's going to be episode two of a uh, professional football coach breaking down your highlight videos. So we're just going to pick a few rent. Mate. <laughs> we're just going to click a few random ones. We're going to break them down, give you guys my thoughts, my input. This is in no way intended to make you guys feel bad, make you guys feel bad about your playing level. In fact, for the most part, I won't even be critiquing your playing level. For the most part, it'll just be about uh, your highlight video, whether you can make some changes as to what kind of plays you put in there, how you organize it, and uh, yeah, maybe a little bit about your playing level. So uh, let's get straight into it. First one's from Bellamy Cox. Hey Coach Javi, would you mind critiquing my highlight reel and telling me the best attributes you see of me in this video? I've put loads of time into making it and getting video, I would appreciate it. Even though you're going through a slump in your YouTube channel, I'll always be watching. Thanks, Bellamy. Let's get straight into it. All right, so uh, right at the beginning, he's got some information there. What class or what year class he is, teams he played for, some academic information, his positions, preferred foot, uh, height, weight, and date of birth. So. Like uh, I tell a lot of players, this is pretty good to have at the beginning because it gives the coaches an idea of your physical attributes as well as maybe your academics. So, um, yeah. Some of the things I'm focusing on is crossing, the ability to make runs and get up high, the ability to drop back and defend, how he combines with the center midfielders, but also if he's putting in dangerous crosses and dangerous passes into his attacking players. So right away, very good at the crossing, great touch, uh, received the ball from long distance and put it right on his foot. He plays good passes and good crosses into his teammates and his teammates can't finish. It's okay if you put plays in which it doesn't always end up in a goal as long as your portion of the player, the part that you were involved in is good. So sometimes players will leave that stuff out of their highlights because you know they made a really good pass but the guy missed at the end. You know, if you can't control what he did but you played a really good pass and it's highlight video worthy, then just keep that in there because at the end of the day, the coaches aren't going to judge you based on you know your attacker missing or whatever. So good stuff so far. And just an FYI, as we're watching this, please remember that this is your highlight video and coaches don't have very much time. So here's here's my suggestion. Put all of your very, very best plays or at least one of your top, top plays right at the beginning because if a coach doesn't have very much time and they're seeing decent plays but not great plays, they'll probably just skip out of the video and move on to the next one. So you wanna make sure that you're putting some of your very best stuff at the beginning so that it kind of hooks them into watching the rest of the video. All right, so the next category is dribbling. I'm gonna pause it right there. Be careful if you're putting a dribbling category because you don't wanna put a lot of plays where it looks like you're being very uh, individualistic or you could have passed the ball, but instead you decided to dribble. And of course, in your highlight video, you're gonna put the ones where the dribbles were successful, 
but if there were better options and you chose to dribble it's probably going to tell the coaches that in certain situations you probably ended up losing the ball because you chose to dribble before uh, you chose the better option which may have been to pass make sure you put the plays in which dribbling was the right decision or the right option don't put it if it wasn't your best option at the time just because it looks pretty pause it there so good job Bellamy so far all the plays that you've put not only did you dribble successfully but you managed to create something out of that dribble so you didn't just continue dribbling until you lost the ball you ended up dribbling to get out of a tight situation you looked up you found if there was if there was a pass after the dribble then you found that pass and you kept the ball for your team so oftentimes if you want to dribble to get yourself in a better position or to get your team in a better position and then you release the ball that's going to look a lot better as well so uh well done there We'll go into a little bit of the defending and then I think we'll move on just because of time wise I want to put in a few more videos as well. All right, we're gonna stop your video there, Bellamy. So overall thoughts on the video, I thought it was very, very simple and effective. You didn't try to do a lot of like slow motion. You didn't do a lot of replays. The camera angles were all good. It was clear who you were. And if it wasn't, you put that little circle on there to highlight who you are. You put your facts, uh, your statistics, um, and then you broke it down into categories that are relevant to your position. Overall, clearly it's your highlight video, so it makes you look good. But in the clips that I saw, I saw a lot of different things that um, I guess the word I'm looking for is like there was a lot of variety. So you didn't just show those uh, different categories, but you showed things within those categories. So when you were doing your passing, you showed receiving the ball from longer distances, how good your touch was. When you did the dribbling, it, it was clear how comfortable you were with the ball at your feet. Um, and then the defending, you put a, a variety of defending type of situations. So there was some slide tackles. There was some where you had to shield the ball. So there was a lot of different things. It looks like you're a pretty good player, man. So I think uh, I think it was a good video, and I think you got some you got some talent. And just looking at your GPA, 3.78, that's a pretty dang good GPA. So most of the schools that you're going to go to, not only are you going to get accepted, but you're probably going to get some sort of academic scholarship as well. So good stuff, Bellamy. Let's move on, my friends. This is from Walid Sheriff or Sharif. Not sure how you pronounce your last name. Hey, Coach Javi, I currently play for Duquesne. University, Duquesne, Duquesne, I'm not sure, University in the A-10 Conference, NCAA Division I. I've taken a weird route in football. I've been invited to the U-17 USA Boys National Team Pool Training Centers 
but ultimately ended up not playing soccer and attending the University of Texas, pursuing a mechanical engineering degree for two years. I missed playing football seriously and ended up playing in the UPSL, which led me to play in NCAA Division II school, which then led me to play here at Duquesne. I will attach my CV for you as well if you would like to take a look at that for your video. My next step is to sign a professional contract after USL 2 and my upcoming fall season. Any help would be greatly appreciated. So, six feet, 168 pounds, center forward slash, and basically any of the three attacking positions. Um, and he's from Algeria and United States. All right, let's see it. Okay, so he put a picture of him, some quick little intro footage. Ooh, and it looks like we got some drone footage over here or some high pod footage from a game. Okay, so I'm gonna stop it here real quick. Right at the beginning of the video, there's a few things. So first of all, people remember this is supposed to be Division One, I, I believe. Maybe Division Two if he's using some of his old highlights. Even though it's it's a high level, I still wanna make sure that you're putting your very, very best stuff. Cause like I said, if I'm a professional coach, the Division One thing is gonna bait me a little bit, right? I'm gonna say, okay, he's playing at a pretty good level. But again, it's the same thing. I wanna see the very, very best of your highlights. I don't wanna be sitting here for six and a half minutes just waiting to see when the good plays are gonna start. He had some good plays from the beginning, but nothing crazy. The first play that he had where he passed the ball across the box and then the goalkeeper intercepted that, I'm not sure if I would have put that in there at all because I think a very good player would have been able to play that pass across for the guy to be able to tap it in as opposed to it getting intercepted by the goalkeeper. So you got yourself in a good position, but there was no end product there. The other thing I'm gonna kind of get on you for is it's clear that this is not a regular season game. A competitive season game because you guys don't have numbers on the back of your jerseys that's what it looks like at least i'm and uh, i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure if it were a competitive season game you would be wearing your actual kit and it looks like this is like just training jerseys or you know spring season type jerseys so right away i'm gonna look at that and i'm gonna say well why didn't he put any of his competitive games on here even if this was against another division one school it's gonna look better if you have an actual competitive game Here's the misconception in highlight videos, and I'm, I'm just using you as an example, but everybody does this in their highlight videos, or a lot of people do. He checks in, receives a pass from the defender, takes a touch, turns, gets out of that pressure, and then he ends up playing a pass out wide, which is a good decision. He continues to follow the play, gets into a good spot, checks, receives the ball, some quick footwork, and then a shot. Okay. Overall, very good play, especially because you started all the way in your half of the field. You managed to turn, you managed to play it out wide, you followed the play. Very good play as far as that goes, but then your shot was pretty disappointing. If you're an attacking player, ultimate sign of success is end product. I don't care how many people you dribble, I don't care how fancy you look with your feet. At the end of the day, I just want to see a goal, and it doesn't even have to be pretty. Because if I'm looking for an attacking player, I'm looking for someone who can finish. So if you take a shot and there's this is probably your second or third shot in which you've missed, I think you'd rather just put your goals in here. If I'm being honest and this sounds weird, maybe this is just personally my coaching 
you know, philosophy or whatever, but I'd rather find someone who can finish than someone who shows me some flair and fancy footwork. If we're talking about the defenders that I showed earlier in the other highlights, obviously I'm not looking for them to score goals. I'm looking for them to create the opportunity to score goals for the attacking players. You are an attacking player, so I want to see you not just create those opportunities, but finish them as well. So I'm gonna pause it right there. So we're about three minutes in. Here's the problem, and I don't mean to be rude and I don't mean to be, you know, like put you down or anything like that, but I wanna show the reality of like highlight videos and getting recruited whether you're going to college or you're going to the next level. Obviously, Walid wants to go pro. That's the intent of this highlight video. The issue that I'm having is there's a few things that are off. One, it should be almost end product every single play, especially if you're an attacking player. Two, some of the footage here is a little, uh, like this one has like water on the lens, so I can't really see what's going on. It's not the best footage. If I'm a professional coach, the fact that you're playing division one is a good start, but if you're not balling out and if you're not standing out as one of the best division one players, then you're probably not gonna play professional because it's not just about going division one, but it's about standing out at whatever level that you're in. If you stand out and you ball out at NAIA or at division two and you're scoring loads of goals, I'll probably have more consideration for you than someone who's playing division one but isn't standing out as much you really really need to stand out remember these are your very very best plays and from watching the first three minutes of Walid's video i'm really not impressed and if i'm being honest if i was thinking about bringing this guy in on a trial i probably wouldn't I, like i said i don't mean to be rude and i don't mean to sound mean or anything like that but we get a lot of videos like this from players who are interested in getting a tryout at dcfc and i've watched three minutes if I'm being completely honest, I would stop this video right now and I would probably move on to the next person because, like I said, nothing really baited me from the beginning. Some of the footage is a little iffy and there wasn't enough end product in for me. So we're going to end it there, guys. If you guys have any videos that you guys want to send me and you guys want me to break down in a future episode, just make sure you send them to my email, which I will put right here. And all you have to do is in the subject title, just put my highlight video or highlight video breakdown, whatever you, anything that says highlight video in it, maybe just a quick little paragraph about who you are and maybe what your goals are. Make sure you put the link to your video. I prefer YouTube, so if you have it up on YouTube, just send me the link, that's the easiest for me, as opposed to trying to send me the actual highlight video through like email. So I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys got some interesting thoughts or interesting feedback, kind of got inside the mind of a professional coach so you guys could see kind of what we look for and maybe coaches at other levels are looking for as well. If you did like this video, make sure you guys hit the thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because I'm posting a lot of content lately. And also make sure you guys subscribe to my podcast, which is 90 Minutes with Coach Javi. I'll link that in the description as well. Until next time, and adios, muchachos.